Now we've talked many times in the past and I know a little bit about the young Seth growing up in deepest Devon and your early days and your introduction to guitar building was none other than your stepdad who is the fantastic acoustic maker Andy Manson. I'm, I'm very lucky Andy's been my stepfather since I was uh, sort of six years old roughly and <clears throat> you know I've spent my life surrounded by guitars and, and musicians and sawdust and uh, it's been very interesting and, and hugely um, influential in my life, of course. We know that he, he's made some incredible mandolins. And just while we're talking, Andy, what happened to the giant mermaid guitar, which was a full sculpture, and you almost had to climb in it to, to play it, and it was made from hundreds of different tone woods? Oh, well, the mermaid lives in California now. Um, <clears throat> she's part of a, a collection of instruments there um, that belongs to a gentleman. And I think that he has quite a collection of Andy's instruments, actually. I think maybe 20 or so, um, spanning a, a four or five decade career. Um, so, yeah, she's in, a, she's in a good home. For any viewers that are watching who've never seen The Mermaid, I, I highly recommend checking her out because it's possibly the most unique piece of guitar art in, in the world. It's, um, it's pretty mind-blowing stuff. I've talked to Andy a lot in the past, and he's always been very much into hand tools, chisels, sawdust. I'd imagine that house in Devon was ankle deep in sawdust most of the time. Yeah, I mean, Andy built his guitars predominantly by hand. He's an incredibly skilled craftsman, and he could probably build an awesome guitar with a, with a pen knife and a pot of glue. You know, he's, he's pretty special. You know, I hope I picked up some of those hand skills from him, and I combine them with kind of modern technology. I also use a CNC machine too so I think combining those two things the old world hand skills and, and modern kind of precision technology has really helped me to, to build the guitars that I want to build. We can see without doubt it was the best choice you could have made but how and when did you first decide that guitar building was going to be a career? I built my first guitar in 2004 um, and I probably didn't, maybe I didn't decide it was going to be a full-time career until sort of 2009 when, you know, circumstances changed and opportunities were afforded to me. Um, and then in 2010, I, I sort of officially set up Seth Backus Guitars and haven't really looked back since, to be honest.